have the seat on it, I would have left the product behind. Um, what I would then do is just reach in, re remove the funnel, and then uh, as simply as just pulling the, the cord, uh, it closes the bag, which in turn makes it quite uh, readily easy to tie off the bag, and remove the bag for responsible disposal. Hello, welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to my very first video. As a bit of a background story to this product I'm about to show you, uh, my wife and I, over the years, have enjoyed a lot of recreational activities. And that included camping and uh, travel trailer behind the truck and even a fifth wheel behind the truck, even a sliding camper on top of the truck. And uh, we enjoyed it all. More recently, last summer there, we purchased an older Class C motorhome and uh, we took it out a couple of times and really enjoyed it. A little weary of the pandemic situation and, and the COVID kind of thing, but being in an RV, of course, it's a little easier to do that if you're boondocking or freedom camping, uh, which we enjoy. And uh, as a result of, of being out and using up the water in the holding tank and and filling up the black tank and on and on kind of thing, you, you kind of mind starts to think about other things and other ways of doing things. So I decided to uh, put a bit of thought into a portable toilet instead of using the flush toilet that's in the Class C. So uh, I came up with this. Now a lot of you have seen bucket toilets. Now there's other types, there's cassette toilets, which are quite a bit more money, becoming very popular in the smaller Class C size vehicles, Class B, but uh, also there's the higher end uh, portable toilets, the composting, Um, anywhere is upwards of $1,500 or more. The, these uh, bucket toilets, they often can be anywhere from probably $15, $20 up to $50, depending on what they do. And uh, the cassette toilets, of course, they run anywhere from $100 up to $750. Um, anyway, this one here, I did a bit of research on Google uh, before I come together with this one and I, I couldn't really find anything exactly like it. So I made a list of what I wanted this bucket toilet to accommodate. Here's a list here. What I introduced to you here is a what I call, this is what I've named it, the sit and go. I didn't leave any letters out. It's called the sit and go. What I decided to do was uh, see if I could adapt a few uh, items within it and uh, make it a little more easier for both my wife and I to use. And uh, what I've done is this here. This is just a, a lid that sits on top of what I call a seat. The seat is a lid that's been modified. I cut it out of another lid and uh, there's a few modifications required to do this, including the locking bead. Um, and that in turn exposes uh, the insides of, of my uh, sit and go. And so what we have inside is a compostable bag and uh, 
in my case I use a funnel. Uh, in my wife's case she also uses a funnel. Um, these are very common and uh, in the case of a woman wishing to use this uh, portable toilet they insert the uh, funnel prior to sitting down and uh, ensure as they're sitting down it, it goes into the bottle that's in here. Um, now she's, my wife has found it uh, very simple to use and, and uh, quite comfortable in the usage of it. So what I also decided to do was look around for a portable seat and I did come up with this here, this little portable seat and again I had to modify it and uh, it does a good job. It, it's got a little latch here they've got to pull open anyway that anything that locks on is a bit of a beast to remove so in turn it just sits on there and uh, once you're sitting on it, 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 it there's no way it moves it's, it's quite stable and uh, it's a little more comfortable than the uh, ad adaptable seat I guess you'd call it so to have the seat on it I would have left the product behind um, what I would then do is just reach in, re remove the funnel and then uh, as simply as just pulling the, the cord uh, it closes the bag which in turn makes it quite uh, readily easy to tie off the bag remove the bag for responsible disposal. Being a composting bag it will decompose if buried uh, within 6 to 12 months and so uh, it, it's quite um, important that you do use a composting bag for this kind of an application. Now they today they cost 11 cents each so uh, the cost of usage is very little and uh, this in turn gives you a very responsible way of looking after your toilet needs. Now within the uh, bucket toilet here uh, I've made it up so that it's uh, quite simple to make with hand tools and uh, I added this feature in in case somebody decided they would like a larger bottle. Uh, this bowl is more than adequate to accommodate uh, any situation and uh, the bottle is more than enough to accommodate uh, any situation. Um, they're both readily removable just by simply taking this divider off off and uh, removing the bowl or removing the, the bottle. So uh, it's quite a versatile unit and uh, quite adaptable and uh, quite comfortable. There is uh, additional features uh, within this bucket toilet that I'd like to show you. Um, basically we can remove the, the top divider and the bowl in the bottle and then we have this middle divider and then uh, it'll, there's room enough for your composting uh, bags and your wipes that are biodegradable and then there's uh, room for even the bottom divider allows room for additional supplies so uh, lots of room so quite a versatile little bucket toilet. There's a link uh, in the description below the video and that will take you to a PDF file, the option to download a PDF file and uh, the PDF file contains all the information required to put this portable toilet together and uh, 
approximately 37 pages. It's got all the, it's got some AutoCAD drawings. It's got a lot of photographs. It's got a list of the tools, a list of the parts required and the sizes. And uh, if a person was to go out and, and purchase the uh, bucket and, and the lids and, and the bowl and the bottle and the rivets, uh, it's approximately $25 US. Um, a lot of people will be able to obtain the, the bucket and the lids uh, for free, just a little bit of cleaning up. And I explained uh, the necessary modifications to accommodate the bucket toilet. And uh, I'm sure you'll be more than satisfied uh, with the PDF file. So uh, wish you all the best and uh, good luck.